Hello all, this is a requested tutorial on how you set up a fast download on a VPS. Note that this is a simple download server. If you need things like PHP for a forum, you need uh, to watch my other tutorial on that. Now let's get started. First you want to find a decent VPS host. In this case I choose InfiniServe. They provide really good cloud service, great for web servers and stuff like that. Not so great for game servers though. All their servers are 1 gigabit so we won't run into problems uh, with people downloading and that getting slow even under load. You wanna before you can actually create a service you wanna go to billing add funds and in here put in the amount of uh, in pounds that you wanna add to your account it's gonna be added onto here you will then be able to create a, a little cloud machine here for you now click on create virtual machine there's a little template here if you don't know how to set it up manually I do and the template install a lot of stuff that we don't really need so I'm just going to do it manual uh, I'm going to choose Debian 64 bit 256 RAM and 5 gigabyte just continue <laughs> okay now it's ready to get start for the first time since it's a clean uh, a clean install you need to uh, to get VNC else you won't be able to well you can use the view console I just find that sometimes it don't really work take the address connect copy over the password Okay, let's get ready. You you move it via the arrow keys and then click enter. Let's select our language. Seems fine. Let's see our location. We are in United Kingdom. Or not, but who cares? Danish. Now it's just doing this thing here. It never works here. You need to configure it manually, and that's what we're gonna do now here. You want to go to overview, and here's your IP address. Let's type that in. Enter, Netmask, Enter, Gateway, Enter. Name server addresses is really just a DNS. I'm just gonna go with Google's here. Enter the domain, uh, the host name here. I'm just gonna go with fastdo. If you have a domain for it, type it in here. Otherwise, enter root password this is important you need to uh, put this so you can remember it full name for user not really need it or maybe it is skill with root 2 sure Alrighty then. We want to use entire disk. All files in one partition. Finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Yes. This is going to take a while, so I am going to pause the video. Alright. That one finished. Now we need to select the Mera. Just choose the one that's closest to where your server is, in this case United Kingdom. Uh you should be fine with that. You don't have a proxy. Alright. No, we don't want that. 
just read what it says really it should be pretty straightforward here now when you come to this part um, you don't click enter you use uh, your spacebar to select or unselect what you need and we don't want the graphical thing since this is going to be a web server we do need the SSH so we can connect using putty or kitty uh, yeah, it should be fine and once you select the ones you need, just click enter. Pause. Now when it asks you to install the bootloader, you say yes. And it should uh, continue with the install. Okay, installation is complete. Continue. It's now going to reboot and do its thing here. Yes, we want to use the standard Linux. Okay, now that's finished, we should be able to close our VNZ. And then we want to find our Putty or Kitty or whatever. Take your IP address. Use port 22 or SSH open. Say yes. Looking as a root. This is the password you set before. All right now. First, we want to make sure that all our system resources is up to date. So do apt get update. And then do apt get upgrade well that's alright we have a fully updated system now now it's time to install the actual web server there's multiple web servers out there um, I will be using Apache as that is probably the easiest for you um, so let's get started type in this command Apache to duck. Apache to dot npm pre fork and Apache two point two common. Oh, sorry. You can click enter or type in a Y here, it doesn't really matter. You may think that we need an FTP server now, but you really don't, as Linux comes with a kind of built-in. Um, you type in, you, well, you open FileZilla, type in your username, in this case root, and then your password. And then instead of port 21, as the default, you want to use port 22. Yes, trust this. Now let's go back a little bit. Um, Apache 2 www folder is in var and www and here's the little index you see here we can remove that refresh and you can see the index listing here um, since we're only going to use this for our fast download we don't really need an index if you want to hide the files and of course you can put one in we're not going to do that now I just created a simple folder here uh, containing our uh, bzip2 I covered that in the other fast download um, tutorial on how to download that these are the files that I'm going to be working with today um, let's just uh, create a folder here call it fastdl and inside of that create folder and then if you're going to be using this for multiple uh, servers uh, you could make in like gun game or something like that but I'm not so I'm just going to make a maps folder here okay now we have the maps folder and they should pop out there and it does now we want to select these two files 
and just simply drag it onto the B set, the B zip two. It's going to create these two files. These are now zipped and compressed into a smaller form. And the B zip two is something that your game, or well, most FPS games, do understand, so it knows what to do with it. Select the two files, drag and drop. Transferring. And there we go. Click the folder. You got the maps, and here we are. Our maps is now installed. And, and when you want to link your server to it, simply copy the the IP and and the folder name fast download here. And then inside your uh, server.cfg put in sv download url and http oh, oh sorry it's already there and then it should tell the game that here you can download our files from here sv download hello uh, download one and sv hello load one. Once you type in that you can uh, type in net max file size and put that to 64 that should make the client able to download uh, maps off the, the fast download too. I can't remember what the, the default is 16 or something like that I'm not sure but this should work just fine and um, your download of maps content stuff like that should be speeded up by a lot so yeah thanks for watching